YouTube fam, what is going on? Today, we are at the Auckland Zoo, a world-renowned zoo. I'm really excited because I think they have some fantastic exhibits. It was sunny out earlier, now it's a little overcast, so it's not too hot. It's actually pretty cool, great weather to be out at the zoo and really excited to see some of their exhibits and, and uh, some of their displays. I've heard it's, it's fantastic, probably one of the best in the world. So it's gonna be a really cool day today and we're gonna get to see some animals. They, I've heard they also have a really nice uh, native New Zealand wildlife exhibit as well section. So I'm gonna head over there and, and see some cool stuff. At the very least, we'll be seeing kiwis today, but not wild ones. Also, you have to stay tuned because on Wednesday, we are heading out. We're taking a ferry out to one of the islands to a bird sanctuary just off the northeast coast here in New Zealand. And we're gonna take a look for some cool stuff there too. So guys, stay tuned for that video. That one's gonna be a good one, I'm sure of it. But now we're in the Southeast Asia tract. So we're gonna see some animals from Southeast Asia and work our way over to the New Zealand exhibit. So yeah, there you go. It's gonna be a good video. So shout out my lab members back home in Toronto. This is actually the their orangutan enclosure. So it looks like a pretty nice enclosure. I haven't actually gotten to see the new outdoor exhibit at the Toronto Zoo yet. I'm sure we're gonna get a pretty cool video uh, one of these days here uh, with the orangutans at the Toronto Zoo. But take, take a look at this. I'm gonna pan over to this exhibit here. Really, really nicely done. Lots of foliage, lots of climbing. And I, unfortunately, I don't see any orangutans out right now, but I'm sure they're tucked away somewhere, so we'll go find them. Really nice in exhibit though. I thought, it, I thought it looked quite good walking up to it. So I'm still at the orangutan enclosure, right? And like behind me are these tall pillars. I thought these were just for, for people, but they're connected by ropes. So I'm looking in this enclosure here, for the orangutans and you'll see these tall pillars are just all the way around so then i pop over to this oh, i'm gonna butcher the name siamang exhibit and i see the guys he's we can't see him from here but he's along this metal fence then i realize these are like catwalks for the orangutans and i look all the way up at the top and there's two orangutans on these catwalks i think there's one up there too so they use them to transfer from enclosure to enclosure as a different type of enrichment. That is incredible. Guys, this orangutan exhibit is blowing me away. So we saw those ones over there. Look at this giant male, a giant. Look at the phalanges on him. He's just looking at me. And so I'm guessing, guys, that's, I mean, the lighting is terrible, but that's not a human in a, in a costume. That is an orangutan. And so I guess they get a freely just walk across on these ropes above the people. There's no nets, there's nothing. I don't think he has the guts to jump down from there 30, 40 feet, but that is incredible. I've never seen that before at a zoo. That is great. And just look at how extensive these catwalks are, if, if you wanna call them that. I, I have no idea what you call them, but totally simulating like a tree, industrial uh like a, a man-made tree forest canopy without having to give them a bunch of ground necessarily because they can only go as low or as high as these barriers because they fence them off and then they can't crawl down that is so cool wow really lush really gorgeous i don't think this is actually part of the exhibit the exhibit's over there like the ground fenced in bit but obviously these are highly arboreal animals so they want to spend their whole lives up in the trees. That is incredible. Never seen an exhibit like that.
the exhibits are really really nice here but um unfortunately a couple have been closed today uh, that I really wanted to go to like the Arowana wetland exhibit but that's okay it's so lush here the most lush zoo I've been to like so much natural vegetation really interesting wildlife in New Zealand has been few and far between guys <laughs> all birds really another really nice stream I don't think any animals are in them let's see I think we're in their uh, South American section so might get to see some cool stuff through here <laughs> there we go Look at this guy, Emperor Tamarin. You can see why they call him Emperor Tamarins. Look at the little whiskers on him. Look at his face. You can hear them call it. Look, they're way up in the trees. Oh, he's moving. Oh, cool. Oh, that's them calling. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I guess when you don't really have birds of prey to worry about on the island, this is the kind of enclosures you can set up. No netting needed. Really, really interesting. Look at these things. They are hilarious. You just see the trees and the bushes shaking. Oh, look at him. He's got some food. Isn't he pretty? Look at this exhibit now, guys. Black-tailed spider monkeys. Check them out. lots for them to forage and just again another massive exhibit really really nicely done as they move away the main takeaway i'm having from this zoo which is something i've thought about for a while and it's really nice to see is like these exhibits, guys, you have to hunt for the animals. You have to look, they're not just sitting there. They didn't remove all the cover so that you could get a better view of them. I mean, I say that looking at the spider monkey exhibit, which probably has the lowest amount of cover of the ones I've looked at, but still look at them. I mean, it's the nicest spider monkey exhibit I've ever seen. Maybe I'm just too excited, but I think this is really, really well done. Really cool.
this absolutely massive Galapagos tortoise. And don't worry, she's not dead. She's just drinking water uh, from this really nice like mud wallow style pit. It is a big one. And I'm like six feet from this animal. You don't really get that close to them in zoos and normally they're further back. Maybe I just got lucky. There's like air bubbles coming out from the shell. Never seen that before. The water, wow. Look at how pretty this animal is. So of course these are native to the Galapagos Islands off the west coast of Ecuador. See what I'm talking about? That water that's coming out from the shell. So I thought the Galapagos tortoise enclosure was pretty cool. And I'm just walking, rounding the corner and they have four more and another giant one. Look at these guys. Again, another really nice exhibit with lots of different varying topography, which we know is needed for these guys in the wild to help generate strong, healthy muscles in those hind limbs. Wow, these are big ones. So this is their vet hospital where you can kind of see some of the behind the scenes research and animal care that's going on. As you would expect, all state of the art. Interesting that it's actually accessible to the public. Really, really cool. Well, forensic response team. What's causing the frogs to disappear? Healthy but deadly. A carrier infected with a disease but does not suffer symptoms. Sudden declines in birds. to see what the lighting on these but really nice facility Well, you love to see it, guys. Auckland Zoo supporting conservation. Just another, another great thing that zoos do behind the scenes. And, you know, there's a big stigma around zoos that the animals are mistreated or that they're, they're not happy. And sure, you know, not every zoo does the best they can, but zoos do offer, offer a lot. I mean, a lot of the money uh, that they are able to generate goes towards conservation initiatives so really great to see and we could tell by that research facility that was really cool haven't seen one of those before open to the public too normally that's behind the scenes so that's really cool let's continue the tour it's warming up a little bit we're heading to the new zealand section so native fauna that'll be good walk underneath the whale carcass. I bet I'm going the wrong way. I'm gonna see some sea lions. There he is. Mm. 
We've got some cool reptiles now, native New Zealand reptile exhibit. We have the Otago skink. Let's see. Possibly we could see one of these, not sure. Quite pretty looking flat. Look at how flat they are. Those are cool. And then what we're really out for, the jeweled or elegant geckos. Oh my God, they're gorgeous. Look at that thing. Try and shade some of this off. Wow, they're pretty. And they get even prettier than this. Bright, bright green with those whites. They are incredible little geckos. That is also another one here, I believe. Yeah, wow, they're gorgeous. Again, we're in another exhibit. This is actually a bird aviary. So there's a mesh, a mesh dome all over this. But if you didn't know better, you'd think you're on a trail somewhere in the jungle. I mean, don't know who that is. We're gonna find out. It sounds like there's a lot of calling. No, fantastic, absolutely incredible. Just let it away. They have a nice lookout pavilion that will go up and hopefully get to see some good views of some of the birds. Really blown away. Yes, yeah, so well done. So well designed. We have the red crown parakeets in here and the tui. This is the two of you guys. We've been seeing tons of them. Still didn't get really, really good pictures, but tons of two. Oh, North Island Saddleback. I haven't seen one of those. Look at this thing. So cool. We're gonna go see the Kiwis. Wow, this exhibit's incredible. That's what we're looking for. Someone's getting a wash.
Well guys, that was our tour of the Auckland Zoo. Ended up walking through the African exhibit uh, section. It was nice, but it's, you know, typical lions, elephants, giraffes, rhinos. Same stuff you see at any zoo, so didn't bother filming that. The kiwi enclosure was, that was really cool. So well done. I mean, you could barely see in there. And I think one of the problems is I zoomed out too much on this. I did like 0.5 zoom and it doesn't have like a, a dark light mode. So when I went to the regular lens uh, on, on the phone, it worked a little bit better. So I'm not sure how well the Kiwis will have been picked up, but they were cool, dude. They just fucking like run around and shit. And they're just like, they're wild. Those things, one of them ran into one of the white stakes. So that was, that was funny. But uh, I mean, overall, I was disappointed some of the exhibits were closed, especially the indoor ones. Like I really wanted to see their arowana exhibit, but overall, they were great. The zoo was really well done. And I feel like they picked animals that would suit them best. They didn't just go and pick a bunch of animals and, and, and throw them all in cages because that's what the public wanted to see. I mean, this is actually one of the first times I've seen the zoo like promoting or, or sharing that they're downsizing, getting rid of their elephants because they've realized, you know, it's probably not the best life for them. So that's really cool. Really enjoyed the Auckland Zoo, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. We still got a couple more days. Got about five more days here in New Zealand. Lots of outings to do. I'm going out right after this. Might be going to the aquarium. And then we're going to go out on some more hikes and hopefully see some cool stuff. I'm hoping I see some lizards now after seeing them there. So, okay. Guys, take it easy. Cheers.